Now to 10 Tampa Bay, Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. And Bobby, there's still a couple weeks left in hurricane season, and uh -huh. right now, monitoring some potential development. Yeah, yeah, right. 30th of November is the end of the season. Uh, we don't typically see a lot of activity, but we can, and the water's warm here in the Western Caribbean, and it looks like we get at least Tropical Storm Sarah, probably a strong hurricane in the Western Caribbean by this weekend. Right now, 90% chance of development. There's Jamaica. The center is actually sitting right in here, but the convection is looking really good tonight. Recon goes out. They'll be out there 14 Z about two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So we may actually even get a, a depression out of it as early as tomorrow. Just designated as 99 L today. So we are running some models. We'll get more and more of these, but here's the deal. It basically moves off towards the west through the next couple of days. Then by Sunday night at nine, it's kind of meandering here. So that's between now and Sunday evening. It's still sitting here, but getting stronger. Then Monday night into Tuesday, that's about 3 a.m. Tuesday morning, it's entering the Gulf of Mexico, and a lot of the models take it towards Florida. In fact, a lot of them take it towards southwest Florida as it's getting picked up by some shear and a trough, basically. It's coming in from the west, and I'll show you that coming up. Here's what we know now. Our weekend's fine. In fact, we got incredible weather coming for this weekend, so don't worry about that. This will likely be at least a depression or a storm in the next 24 to 48 hours. And then it becomes, I think, a hurricane by Friday into the weekend. After that, if it does come into the Gulf of Mexico towards Florida, it would be Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll also talk about this really nice weekend weather coming up in my full forecast.